So right now it's my third day in Tirana and I wanted to go back to this pyramid and actually explore like underneath it, not just climbing on top. There's no way I'm climbing to the top of that thing again. So you can see the last video to see what happened. Uh, but also I heard that there's this area with all these like statues of Stalin and Lenin and the, the former dictator here. So I'm going to be heading towards that general area. To me, I think that's going to be very interesting. And, you know, I love things like Lenin statues. Um, so we're going to go that way. But there's a few things along the way that I want to show you that I think are interesting too. So this is the general area that I'm staying in, uh, where the apartment that I'm renting for the week is. And I thought this was kind of interesting here, this... Uh, this green staircase, just the style of that. My understanding is that there's a new mayor in 2000 that decided to um, see a sort of de uglify the city. And there's all kinds of little hidden gems of artwork there. And then look at this. It's like a cigar or something on the side of the building. I think with a car and other stuff. I mean, I don't even know. Here's the main street I'm uh, going on the way to the uh, museum. And it's another one of these just crazy murals. I don't know what exactly uh, it is. And of course, right next to this, we have Sinead O'Connor's uh, Albanian sisters. strange detail on the main national square on the way this little thing here a bunch of water is pouring out of it and rolling down if anyone knows what that is please say in the comments because there are a couple spots like that there's another one over there and i didn't think much of it until i looked at it a little closer and it's a little a little unusual maybe some drainage thing i don't know i think these are some uh, metal frame soldiers or something like this Looks like a gun there. It's kind of interesting. So one thing I wanted to point out, look at all these, these cars going by. There's just cars, cars, cars everywhere. And while the communist regime was still here, um, apparently there are only 600 cars in the entire country. So basically it was just something where if you're part of the communist party and high enough up, you could own a car. But in this country of like two and a half or maybe even three million people, there are only 600 cars. And I mean, to me, that's just incredible. So I think we're getting pretty close to the Lenin and Stalin statues, if they're still there. And I really hope they haven't been removed since the article I read on the internet about uh, there being with them. Um, but one thing I do really like actually a lot about this country is I don't, um, more than I do in Poland is, it actually seems to be encouraged to jaywalk, so you don't have to wait. Like if the light is red and there's no car for like a mile, then, you know, people in Poland will typically wait and here they just go. I mean, this just looks kind of like a nice area to look around. I want to just get, get to this pyramid and these Stalin statues, but maybe we'll come back here and take a look too. This is an interesting looking restaurant or some sort of structure. Not sure what it is. Thank God I found it. So it was actually really close to that thing over there. And it really is just in this um, funny little courtyard. I don't think there's uh, much promotion at all of these things, but look at these guys we got here. Yeah, so I think it's um, pretty obvious who some of these dudes are. I mean, obviously this is Joseph Stalin, you know, and of course he was really, really nasty man. I mean, he was, of course, um, much more prolific in his murders than Adolf Hitler. Um, I'll admit I don't know what all of these are. So I'm, of course, like this is obviously Lenin, who we know um, from the, the revolution in Russia. And I'm going to have a video. I actually made it in February and it's gonna take a while to get there. But in Kharkiv, I, had a, I found actually a huge collection of um, uh, Lenin statues. So just uh, kind of, you know, Subscribe, hit the bell notification if you want to see that. It'll probably take me a month or two to get to. Um, is that also stolen? Is there two of them? I'm not sure. And I think that this this guy here, this is the, the pharaoh of uh, Albania. Tell me if I'm wrong or not. I think this is a Honja, a Enver Honja. Not completely sure. And... 
it's a woman, I think it's a woman with a gun or something, some sort of um, soldier statue memorial, I'm not sure. But this is important too, because um, I see some graffiti, <laughs> of course. We have, some, we have some very classic graffiti. And for those of you who've been watching my videos, you know that one of my favorite numbers is 69. So of course, you know, right next to some of history's greatest murderers, uh, we have the number 69, it's very appropriate. Um, and <laughs> you know, I really love things like you would write on the bathroom wall. And I mean, this isn't as, anywhere near as bad as I seem, but it's still pretty funny. Um, be gay, do crimes. <laughs> oh yeah, funny, funny. Um, I don't really know what all the rest of these things are. So um, like a lot of it's in um, Albanian, I'm pretty sure. So. Last look with these guys. And I think it's time for me to go off to the pyramid. Well, that definitely made my day to see those statues. You know, it's something growing up as an American and always seeing the, you know, Soviet Union as enemies in our movies and everything like that. And it's still very exotic to see all those, you know, Lenin statues and Stalin statues and everything. And right next to it, we also have something kind of interesting to me. We have something we definitely do not have in the US. We have a a pink telephone booth. In fact, I mean, I don't know that there ever were any pink ones in the U.S. outside of maybe the Castro in San Francisco. And right next to that, we have a bender from Futurama. And I don't know who that guy is. So maybe if anyone wants to let me know in the comments. We were back where we were yesterday, but it's an hour earlier and it looks much, much lighter. So I can kind of get a better idea, like the graffiti on it and everything. So now the goal is going to be to get inside and I hope it's not too tricky. And maybe also just a commentary, like we can see the, the barbed wire up there that um, kind of blocked me a little bit last time. I heard that there's like a radio station or something operating there. I'm not sure if this is true or not. So maybe that was what it was. Maybe it's something actually operated by the radio station. They don't want us in that part. I'm not really sure, but we can better see now really how much graffiti is here and like that does actually make a difference when you're climbing because some of the stuff it changes the friction of the surface <laughs> what's a zef that's a south african thing i don't know what's uh what that's doing over here it's um die antwoord you know that 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 crazy band so say there's zef okay so let's see if we can find a way inside here I'm not quite sure how much of this we can get in. Maybe it's blocked off. Yeah, this looks like it's pretty much pretty in ruins. So I got to the pyramid and it seems like things changed a little bit in the last year or so because I do see some YouTube videos from a year ago of people exploring this. And I talked to a couple people and it seems like it's actually closed off now. So we can kind of see there, um, there aren't really any ways to enter there. I think like if someone was really persistent, it really wouldn't be that difficult. Uh, you know, I'm not any sort of expert in breaking and entering, but like it really doesn't look that difficult. But I mean, also, I think there's a clearly um, non-safe way of getting in that I'm not going to try also because I don't know how I would actually get out. So for example, over there, I think it would be actually pretty easy to climb down from there and get up to there and then jump down. Um, but I don't know really how safe it would be to land on kind of the broken glass and stuff down there. Um, probably not too bad, but then getting out would be kind of more of the problem. So I'm going to um, look into this a little bit more, but I think uh, today this isn't going to happen. So unfortunately, um, this is probably going to be a bust. So, you know, the people in this country are really, really friendly. So I just had some uh, nice conversations with the security guard there and a couple other people passing by. And none of them really wanted to be on film, but they were, you know, very, very happy to talk to me. And so apparently it actually, it, it is possible to get in there, but there's issues with homeless people sleeping in there, people um, doing various drugs that I probably don't want to get near. So I might try to go somewhere uh, in there sometime, but I think it's only going to happen if I can get someone to go with me because then I think it's a bit safer. 
just going in there by myself is maybe not the best idea. Now, they told me that up ahead there's some sort of protest, so let's, let's look and see what happens there. Supposedly it's not dangerous. Well, something's happening. I think, um, I think they arrested somebody. Yeah, there's, uh, I guess, camera crews from uh, news stations. Lots of people with their cell phones recording. I guess I'm one of them as well. Something going on near Batman. I guess they're arresting someone there. Well, this is the first Albanian politi uh, political protest I've been anywhere near. So everyone's around here, so there's something going on here, I guess. going on here? It's um, against uh, all the re regulations, against the uh, music in bars, against uh, everything. Like they think of something against, like so, you shouldn't do something and they uh, just so make I'm, a law. I don't know anything about Albanian politics. I got here two days ago. So like what are they doing? So um, you can, can you simplify it for me? Like what are they doing? They stop the music in bars and lounges. So they're not allowed to... 8 p.m. Okay. So some bars can be open, yeah. there can be lots of people, but not playing music or just shut up the music, so it okay. doesn't make any sense. Because I was out there pretty late and they were still playing music. I know. They were just like reducing the regulation. Today. Today. Oh, that's just starting today. And these are oh, yes. the artists that want to still go on and play the music, you know? I see, I see. So that's yeah. what the protesting. saying. I see. So we, we have to Albania. Leave Albania. Leave Albania. Yeah, leave Albania. Yeah. yeah. Well, I leave on Friday, so I have a few more days. So. Good. Yeah. So they don't get arrested. Okay. Okay. Because. Uh, they don't <laughs> yeah, I don't want to get arrested in Albania. Like, do I? I don't look like I'm from here, you right? Get <laughs> here for singing, for playing guitar, for playing sports, for whatever. This is Albania, man. Oh wow! Wow. That's amazing. <laughs> This is, I can't believe it. Wow. So the guy that they uh, just arrested, he seemed to be trying to fight back a little bit. Um, I think this is my cue to get out because it's peaceful so far, but I'm not sure um, that it's going to stay that way. So yeah, this is this is about time to go. So, is that, all right. Yeah. I'm not near the protest now. I figured it was getting a little intense. I'm gonna just kind of wander a little bit more around this area. And we're back kind of on this uh, main street. It's a little earlier. And there's something really kind of interesting I found down here. It's a little goofy. Yeah, look at that wild thing right there. Like, my God, <laughs> it's a skull. Now, I think we're gonna go south, actually, because I haven't been in that part of the town yet. This is just the kind of nightlife. This is near the dictator's home, not quite there. Uh, fancy part of town, tons of Lamborghinis and nice cars and everything, so. Oh, hey. Here is techno home real estate. So I'm not sure what that means exactly. Does it mean like the home is made of technology or they're like playing Moby the whole time? I don't know uh, what exactly they're getting at. This is a little bit off the main area. We're gonna go 
back here and see all what's going on. Like this seems just really active. Like, you know, right now it's a Monday night and this is something I'm liking about this area. It's not just active now on like Fridays or Saturdays or something. You know, this is still see young and old people out. And I don't know, everybody seems to just be out enjoying the nice weather. It's I think 23 degrees Celsius right now. And um, yeah, I could, I don't know. I know a lot of places that just Monday night are gonna be totally dead. And as you can see right here, definitely not at all. There's still a lot of life here. So I was able to make it a bit more south and we have, <laughs> I love this, the uh, billionaire spa right here. Um, no more comments on that. We're heading towards the park in the south of the city right now. So this is pretty cool. So I see some amusement park stuff in the distance. There's a lake. Um, this is really pretty active. I'm gonna have to come back here during the day and see what it's like too. But as we kind of see in the distance over there, and I'm definitely gonna be checking this out. See right over there, we got some amusement park rides. So I am curious to check this out and see if there's anything I wanna go on. So we're at the entrance of Tirana Luna Park. Uh, Bilet, that's very similar to Polish and uh, other Slavic languages. Of course, Albanian, Albanian is not a Slavic language. Claw grip stuff. It's pretty empty though. I mean, maybe just because it's kind of late at night. Maybe I'll be the only one riding the ride again. We'll see. A nice smiley face. Oh, my favorite, bumper cars. But bumper cars are only fun when you have someone else there. So one person with bumper cars. Hmm. Yeah, that can be kind of fun. Well, the last time I was in one of these things, I got a little bit sick. So I'm going to see if I can get a ticket for something. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll ride the Ferris wheels. I would love to ride the bumper cars. There's, there just aren't enough people here. I guess, yeah, I always end up on some ride. And this is a pretty mild one. We're on a Ferris wheel now. It's kind of a, a short Ferris wheel. So we're going around pretty quickly. I think maybe I'll come back and uh, do the bumper cars sometime when it's uh, more people around. And I guess it's just been kind of my thing lately going on these rides when it's dark and there's no one around. I guess kind of an empty amusement park is sort of a creepy thing. You know, we're used to there being just people everywhere. So, um, Probably I didn't do this place justice. I think if I come back here at like 6 or 7 p.m. or something, it'll be much nicer. But there's kind of this spooky atmosphere to it. So I kind of like that in, in some sense. Kind of nice too. Kind of one last funny thing I noticed at this place. This place is, this ride is called the Super Swinger. So I don't know if they have a swingers parties on it or something. Kind of afraid to ask. So I think I'm going to start kind of getting out here. There's one last place I want to stop by and then that's going to be enough video for tonight. So I want to end this video with a reminder of a very horrifying part of history. So back in Europe uh, many years ago, sometimes. Hey, what's up? How are you guys? Hey, fine. Hey. What's your YouTube channel? YouTube channel. Yeah, yeah. What's your YouTube uh, Bill's Aftermath. So I wanted to end the video with a reminder of a very horrifying part of uh, European history that happened. So a long time ago, they used to take little boys who were very good at singing before they hit puberty and they chopped their balls off. And then they become a very different type of singer called a, a castrato, plural is castrati. Um, this is something that absolutely makes me just shake in fear. Now in Albania, there's a gas station called castrati. So I would be very careful not to go here or they might chop your balls off. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share the video. And I'm going to have more videos from Albania coming up. And I will just leave everyone once again 
with this scary visual. Thank you.